Hello, dear students and Kutima, I welcome you all to this video. We are continuing word problems from maxima minima. We have finished exercise 6.5. So next, we will solve questions from miscellaneous exercise. Some important questions which can be asked in the board as well as add your case, case study questions. So question number nine is such questions. So a tank with a rectangular base and a rectangular side open at the top is to be constructed so that the depth is two meter and the volume is eight cubic meter. If the build, building of the tank cost rupees 70 per square meter for the base and rupees 45 per square meter for sides, what is the cost of least expense tank? So the question is about a tank which is in shape of a cuboid. It is open in the top. That is nothing to do with the top. Depth is two meter, height is two meter. That means height is your two meter. Volume is also given eight cubic meter, meter cube. The building tank cost rupees 70 per square meter for the base. To make the base, the costing charge is your how much? Rupees 70 per meter square. And for the sides, for the sides, rupees 45 per square meter. What is the cost of least? This is the minimum thing. The cost is minimum. Okay. So what else we can find from it? Volume is given. This is given. And volume, you know, that will be your length into breadth into height. Height is also given here, 2 meter. So this is 8, that means length into breadth is equal to 8 by 2, that will be 4 meter. Now this length, I'm taking its x and breadth is y. So this gives you x into y is equal to 4. Now let us come to cost function. Cost function is for base. What is the area of the base? Area of base is nothing but your x, y meter square. So for x, y, they are charging how much? 70 per square meter. Seventy square meter and plus the sides. Sides means this your four walls. What is the area of the four walls? Four walls is equal to your two i is i within bracket is a length plus breadth. And for this, the, it is charge is rupees forty five per meter square. So this is your cost function, which is your minimum. You have to differentiate this. Now, with respect to what? With respect to either x or y. So we have to write either x in y or y in x. Because h is already given, I'll put. So let us simplify. C is equal to cost function is equal to x, y is how much? 4. So I can put 4 here. 4 into 70. That will be 280 plus 2 into h is also given that is 2 so it becomes 4 into x plus y into 45 i'm i'm simplifying a little bit more it will be 180 into x plus y so one is constant one is x plus y both the variables so i have to write in one variable so how to proceed I'll take the help of 
this x into y is equal to 4. So this gives you y is equal to 4 by x. So now c is equal to 280 plus 180 multiplies your 4 x plus 4 by 4 x. So what is the derivative? dc to dx is equal to 280 derivative is 0 plus 180 multiplies by 1 minus 4 by x derivative is equal to 4 by x squared. So this is equal to 0. So this gives you 1 minus 4 x squared is equal to 0 or x squared minus 4 is 0 x squared is equal to 4, this gives you x is equal to 2 because x cannot be negative. When x is equal to 2, how much will be y? y is also 2. y is equal to 2. So length is 2, breadth is 2. Then we got everything. Now I will get the cost. So total cost is 2 into 80 plus your I am writing this one. Here I am putting x equal to 2, y is equal to 2. So 180 into 2 plus 2, that will be 4. So you have 280 plus 70, 20. So answer is rupees 1,000. So this is equal to your, this will be the cost of minimum cost. Now coming to verification. For verification, where from you, I will start. I'll start from first derivative only. Where is first derivative? First derivative is your this one. So dc by dx is equal to 180 into 1 minus 4x square. So what will your second derivative? Second derivative will be 180 multiplies 1 derivative is 0. This will be positive 1 by x squared derivative will be minus again. So it will be plus 8 by x cube. Is it a positive term? Yes, it is greater than 0. So minimum is very high. So thank you for watching. Keep on watching so that you can learn more and more and share the video, like the video. Thank you. Thank you. And have a nice time.